All right, I'm on hole number 15 of the Cliff Top Links Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. I'm in hole in one on hole four and Albatross on hole five. Awesome, back to back. Let's keep this roll going right here. This is an eagle shot. I don't have any four power balls, so I'm not gonna use the island here because I don't wanna have to engage any overpower. You don't have to engage a lot of overpower, but anytime you use overpower, then that shot is is you know less repeatable so I'm gonna end I wanna go for the shadows out here now the first the first round I put myself in the perfect spot out here and then like an idiot I didn't I was trying to eke myself out I brought a big ball so that I could be in mid club in between mid and minimum club and I didn't check to see where I was in my red line so I didn't know what wind adjustment to do so by the time I did find out where I was it was too late to make the uh, make a really good wind adjustment I hit the shot perfect, but I had zero chance of making it because I, I didn't set it up right. So let's see if we can uh, rectify that problem on this round and get my eagle here and go hole in one albatross eagle. My whole goal going into this was to uh, shoot a minus 28. The minimum score we're looking for is minus 12. So we need to pick up a couple on each side. I didn't pick up anything on the front. Just played nice and consistent on the front. So I've picked up a couple here on the back, and that's uh, definitely going to help me out with the tiebreakers, and especially getting an Albi. That's really going to separate me in tiebreakers. That's a big deal in the weekend rounds when you're in those brackets. You know, let's say you're, let's say the minimum score here is minus 24, and you shoot a minus 24 in the weekend round. So if you came into the weekend round with a minus 23, there's going to be a bunch of those people that, you know, we're probably looking at in these brackets. We're probably going to be probably 30 deep with the minus 24 so it's probably going to be somewhere between top 10 and 30 so there's 20 people that shot a minus 24 had a minus 24 in the final round and you've probably if with a 23 going in you know there's going to be a big chunk of them that are going to have you in tiebreaker so tiebreakers make a big deal especially when you get up to the very top you know you're up in the top five and the top ten those tiebreakers come in to play. What well, you want to be as a standalone, you want to be standalone when you're up there at the top. Just a little bit of rollout. I just want to end up eking past that shadow. So I'm going to start off here to the right a little bit more so that I can apply curl and give myself room for that curl to become effective. That's a 2 2 pull. I don't have to use that much curl, just a little teeny bit. Hitting it perfect. What will happen if you put too much curl is this rough right there will come into play. So it's important to just lay yourself up out there, but give yourself enough room when you're doing curl. I'm seeing a lot of people over hit here. And I've even slightly overhit from where I'd like to be. I want this mouth to be completely open so I can do what my opponent's doing, where you've got you've got plenty of maneuverability, plenty of room for maneuverability. If you come at it from up here, you hit high. You're coming at the green here, so you have to start on this side. And you have less less maneuverability when you're doing that. Let's see if my opponent can get this in the hole. They set it up right and they hit a great to the left. It should go great to the left. Okay, let's see where I'm at in my club. Okay, there's minimum. There's maximum. So I'm at mid club. It's 1.9 per ring at mid club. Put a little bit of backspin on it just to woe it up when I get up there. Going right at it. 1.9 per ring, so that's going to leave me 8. So that's about a ring and a half. Now the goal is just hit perfect and give myself a look. Oh, and I hit a great to the left. So just like my opponent, I'm going to end up great to the left. That's the look, though. What's funny is at the beginning of the week, in practice, I was hitting it perfect on this hole, and I was ending up short. 
I was trying to finesse it too much into the hole. I was trying to use one backspin and trying to finesse it in the hole. And so I have been putting on a couple backspins so I can get a little bit closer to it. And I'm getting the rollout that I'm looking for so it's going past the hole. But slow enough past it that if I was on track it would actually go in the hole. But since I've made that adjustment, I've got the distance and everything right. I haven't hit it perfect. And the one time I did hit it perfect, I didn't set the shot up right. <laughs> So I'm not having problems on this hole, but I'm having problems on this hole. <laughs> That's a great hole. That's a great opportunity. That hole is a great opportunity to get an eagle. And it's one of those holes that you're not going to get an eagle on every time you come to it. But if you put yourself in the right spot, you'll at least have a great look at it every time you come to the hole. And when you're on one-on-one -on -one play, that's the deal. I see a lot of people come here and they try and max overpower, they try and do stuff, and they end up in the rough. If you can just end up out there so you get a nice clean shot with your short iron, um, you're going to sink a lot of those and you're going to win a lot outright. All right, that was hole number 15 of the Clifftop Links Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.